So your sunroof is leaking on your Super Duty. Well, I've had that same problem for the past few months and the water was coming down right here on this pillar. It was actually coming out right here, and right here, these little caps that hold this little handle on. So if you guys have the same problem, um, it was just on the driver's side. Now what you have to do is inside the sunroof here, let me go ahead and get this open for you. There's two little holes up there where the excess rain, because you cannot stop these things from leaking. There's two little holes up there. So if you look at my truck, there's one in that corner in the front and there's one over here. And it's literally, right. it's hard to see, you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera, but it's directly in that corner, right in there, there's a little hole and the excess rain that catches here in this trap will go out of those two tubes, one on the left, one on the right. Now the problem I was having was I thought it was clogged and several other people uh, were saying that they used compressed air to blow it out or fishing line, well actually weed eater line, uh, things like that and, and shove it down that tube. The problem is, is there's a coupling in there and prevents that thing from getting past the coupling. So that was kind of a pain that didn't work. The compressed air didn't work. It actually, because it was uh, clogged or not allowing things to pass through, the compressed air just blew the fitting. So I had to take my whole headliner apart uh, here, two screws here on the sun visor, another screw there, and then it's basically velcroed up. There's two uh, bolts here holding this uh, grab handle on here. And then I also took this panel off here, which is easy, just snaps in place. To get a better look at see what was going on. The compressed air actually blew the fitting, so I had to put it back together. I'm sorry I didn't uh, show you before it was all closed up here, but the fitting is actually right inside there before the hose goes into the channel, uh, this A-pillar here. It's actually hollow, so the tube goes in through and threads through all the way down through here. We'll get to that in a second. It blew the fitting right here, so I'd take this apart. I had to put the fitting back together, use compressed air, it blew the fitting again. So something's wrong. It's it, it's very bad clogged. So I couldn't get the I couldn't get the weed eater line through. So something was I kept getting trapped right here near this hinge on both sides. I found the other one. A lot of it is won't show you where the exit is. The exit for that tube is directly behind this portion of the badge. Mine says Larry, yours might say XLT or Platinum, whatever. But it's right behind this right here and this little hole down in here. See this white tube? There's a little white tube right there. It's kind of hard to see right down here. There's a little white tube and it actually ends right there. Bam, ends right there. You can shove something up there to see if it's clog, a mud daub or what have you. Mine was actually none of those things. My problem was it was kinked from the factory. The stupid thing was kinked. And I actually, if you look in here with the door open, there was this little, this little plug right here, this little rubber plug. Now that rubber plug, let me see here. You can pull this rubber plug right out. See that? And inside there, I don't know if the video is going to catch it, but inside that little hole that I just made, I can't get the door open wide enough. But I was able to get my fingers in that section there. And I found the tube was kinked right stinking there, right in that tight spot. And I was able to finesse it enough to where it unkinked. I was able to get the weed eater line all the way through it, which was fantastic. Um, but again, I had to separate it that, that coupling. The weed eater line would not go past that coupling. So I had to separate it right here. And I fished the weed eater line through and it was nice and clear. And now I've got great flow on both my drain tubes on both sides of my um, my sunroof there. So just in case I could, it was hard for me to find videos to see where the exit tube was on this thing. So that's why I basically wanted to post this. And you may think it's clogged with trash and leaves and debris. Well, mine was actually kinked from the factory. Why it took several years to develop the situation where it was leaking inside the truck, I couldn't tell you. Maybe it was allowing a little bit of water through, but not quite enough. And then eventually some debris clogged it all the way and backed up into the truck. But again, comes in through here, down this pillar. And once it gets into this spot right here where the grab handle is, you can no longer see the tube. It goes into the pillar, into the center of the pillar, threads through down in here. You won't see that stupid thing again until you get in to the other side of the, the panel here. And then it's down inside that hole. So I hope this helps you guys. Uh, leave comments if you have any questions.